Good evening and welcome to ITV's coverage of Euro 2020 after a year like no other where life has been disrupted for everyone around the globe. This summer's showpiece football event has finally begun and we're more than ready. It's a very, very long time since Bobby Moore and the boys of 66 won the World Cup here at a very different Wembley. This evening, Gareth Southgate and his vibrant young team will try and end 55 years of hurt. That's over 20,000 days of hurt and become heroes whose names will be remembered forever alongside the winners of 1966. Welcome to the match of their lives. I said in the opening, it's, it's the match of their lives, Ian. It's the match of our lives as well, isn't it? Roy understands what I mean. Anybody, yeah. you know, under the age of 60 yeah. don't remember the World Cup. Well, the crowd won Sweet Caroline this evening. They should get it in a few moments' time. The Italians have finished their warm-up, and it's the English subs who are out there just going through their paces. Is the manager's job done now, Roy? Nothing more he can say? I think so, yeah. He's got to step back now, trust his players. He's got a lot of experience last year. Maybe some of the staff might be saying a few things, but I think from a manager's point of view, step back. Trust the players, let them get on with it. Yeah. Did you like the manager saying anything at this stage or was it long gone? No, long gone. I think the only thing you might do is just say, check your set pieces, make sure you know all your jobs, your individual jobs, particularly the forward players. But they're so well drilled, they've been detailed all the way through this tournament, they know what they're doing. This was the image that provided the first hope that Christian Eriksen was going to make a recovery taken off the pitch on a stretcher on Saturday by the medics who saved his life, shielded by his teammates, but eyes open and on his way to hospital. Now those same teammates return to the Parken Stadium in Copenhagen just five days later to play Belgium. Eriksen is believed to be watching in the hospital in the foreground just across the park from the stadium. The players will pay tribute to him in the 10th minute. News this morning is that he will be fitted with an ICD, an implanted cardioverter defibrillator, to monitor his heart going forward. Very good afternoon to you in the studio today. Graham Sunes, Ashley Cole and the Denmark international Nadia Nadim, who watched the incident unfold on TV on Saturday with the Danish women's team as they prepared for a match in Spain. Thank you for joining us. Ericsson has received support from near and far in the Copenhagen fan zone. A mural has quickly been painted with goodwill messages added by fans and players across the Euros have been quick to send their support as well, including the Belgian star Romelu Lukaku. And we're joined this evening by Roy Keane, Patrick Vieira and Gary Neville. The three of them in close proximity for the first time in 16 years since they were squashed together in the tunnel at Highbury. In 2005, Arsenal and Manchester United have been the two leading teams in the country for almost a decade, sharing the title between them. In the first game that season, Manchester United ended Arsenal's 49-game unbeaten run in controversial fashion. And the events that followed in the tunnel in the return match have gone down in league history. 